Okay, so this is how to create a word cloud portrait. So if you go to Google Classroom, you click Classwork at the top, this word cloud portraits um, is scheduled for you tomorrow. There's gonna be a video attached, but there's a Google Doc, and this is the practice submission. There's a Google Doc, and then there is the picture that you can practice with. So go ahead and click that doc, um, and it has the requirements. So you are going to create a portrait, and that is usually a painting or a photo of one's face from the shoulders up. So you are going to actually just choose one. So I changed that. And you can see that words are replacing some of those values um, that we see, values and colors. So they're replacing, so it's made up of words. So you are going to do a practice portrait, which I'm showing you right now, and then you're gonna do a final portrait on your own. You need to have at least 10 words of the you know relating to the portrait so if you're going to do a picture of your sister or your brother you need to have 10 words that describe that person um, and then like the words need to be connected to the portrait so maybe their personality traits physical features inside jokes whatever you can think of um, so here's you know michael jackson so i'm going to show you how to do that um, so go ahead and go to google classroom again and go ahead and save this picture uh, somewhere in your computer so if you don't remember how to save, you can right click, save image as, and then you can save it to your desktop or wherever it is easiest to find for you. I already have it saved, so I'm not actually going to save it. Then you are gonna go to Photopea. If you are working in Photoshop, it's very similar. Um, so go ahead and go to File Open, and I'll scroll down, and it is right here. Okay, so I have it open, and then we need to select just her, and we're gonna delete the background. So if you remember, make sure you are on your selection tool, and just start clicking. It wants to grab some of this background, so very important. You can do the quick mask mode here, or you can do the refine edge. So the refine edge, I'll show you that one, because that's a little bit simpler for what we're doing. If you remember, um, the white is what you want selected for this photo. Ignore the gray box. I don't know why the gray box is there. The black is what you don't want selected. So I have my live preview to the right here. You can see that the water is selected. I don't want that selected. So I'm going to use my the black box here and then on my image, just start erasing away. This is just a practice, so it's not gonna be perfect and that's okay. We just wanna get the main idea. All right, so I am deleting some of these areas and that looks pretty good. That's fine, maybe I'll just clean that up just a little bit. And then you can click okay. All right, so we no longer have that background any longer. So now we're just gonna save it. So we're gonna go to, and it's gotta be a JPEG, so we will go file, export as JPEG and click save. It goes to my downloads right here, so um, what I'm gonna do to make my life a little bit easier, I'm gonna click and drag from my downloads onto my desktop. You don't have to do this. And I'm actually gonna rename this so it's easier to find when I have to open it in this other um, app. So I'll just name it girl. Okay, so then um, the next website we're gonna use is WordArt. So wordart.com, go ahead and go there and then click create now. And it's gonna open this screen. This is the first thing that you will see. So it starts with the actual words. So again, you, as a reminder, you need 10 words that go along with your photo. Since this is just a practice, we're just gonna type some random ones. So how you add words is in these little bars, um, how you continue to add words is just click right under the bar you're currently working on and it creates a new one automatically. So just type like random, at least 10 words, um, happy or maybe this person is very kind maybe they have they're a brunette um, maybe it is your sister she's not actually my sister but um, her favorite food is pizza I don't know okay so I have a bunch of these words and then so this is the words tab and then you can click shapes and this is where we are going to put our own shape in. They have a bunch, but we are doing our own. So go and click this add image and then open image from your computer. So then I know my girl JPEG is right there. I'll click open 
And then you can toggle with this. I, um, I, I'm going to keep it at 80 actually, but then I'm going to boost this up to 13 and you can change this later if you don't like it. So I'll click OK. If you would want, if you would like to change it later, make sure you're on this shapes bar and this little green gear right here. If you click that, it takes you back to that screen and you can toggle with those mess with that. Then um, go ahead and click fonts and you see we don't have a um, preview yet so I'll show you how to do that so just go ahead and click a font you can change this later as well click this one and then um, click visualize that's the one thing I don't care for with this site is it doesn't have a live preview so you have to click visualize a lot of times after you choose something new okay so it loads and you can see that it replaced all of the colors and the values with words so if I go down to layout I can change the way these words sit. So maybe I want all my words to be more random. And the density, the lower percentage, um, actually makes it a little more dense, uh, I believe. And then you can have that box checked because I think that helps with filling it in. Um, unless you want to experiment and see what it looks like without. Then I will click visualize again. I'll wait for this to load. Maybe. Okay, so maybe you like that better. Um, and then the last bar here is style. Um, we do not really want this to be a big number, this background image percentage, because you can see as we raise this, you can see more of the picture. We don't want that. Mine was at a five, which is okay. I would say don't go above five because we want the words to do all the work. Um, and all this other stuff you can you know, ignore. You could do custom, so if you wanted them to be brighter colors, um, you could, but I kind of like how it takes on the colors from the actual photo. Okay, so that is pretty much how to do your word cloud portrait. Now, you are going to save this, and we're gonna kind of cheat the system here. So what you're gonna do is actually screenshot. So on the Mac, it's Shift-Command-3. Um, so I'm gonna screenshot that. Um, and for the PCs, um, you will do the snipping tool and then you will click new on the snipping tool and then click and drag it and do file save and save it um, wherever, wherever is easiest for you. So then once you are done, you can go to this assignment on Google Classroom and submit your practice on here.